Welcome back to Studio 5. So sometimes brothers who are close in age end up sharing a room together, right? They yeah. might play sports together, and most usually end up sharing a few fights as well. <laughs> the Chan brothers ended up sharing something remarkable. When you listen to Benjamin and Jonathan Chan play music, it's almost like they are one mind. It helps when you're brothers and have so much in common. As they compose and arrange music, even if they take different approaches, they discover they often end up coming to the same end result. But how they ended up here is a lot of dedication and a lot of hard work. They were just typical young kids who liked things that typical kids like. That's when their parents decided to give Ben and John a unique reward for practicing. They gave us an incentive. We got the new Nintendo when it came out, and so we had to practice before we could play. So I remember some, some mornings where we would get up at 8 in the morning, which is early for the little kids, and go practice because we wanted to play. So that was, that was a good incentive, I guess, for, for starting. It never came easy for the kids who say they are the product of a lot of practicing and hard work. They admired others who had musical abilities, but didn't really think of themselves as overly gifted. You watch on TV or you listen on the radio and there's these people who are a lot better than you. But, you know, it just takes some patience and it takes some time to, to develop your own talent. Sooner or later, you know, you just kind of wake up one day and think, hey, I'm actually pretty good. Pretty good might be an understatement. Ben, for example, plays on this rare violin made in the 1700s. He's played in Carnegie Hall and toured around the world. But even in national competitions, Ben still has his favorite accompanist with him. Yeah. So if you did that one and you came in just kind of slowly. Like the two are working on creating their own arrangements now, like this Christmas hobby. carol. And although they work well together, they each excel on their own as well. John has branched out on his own. He's an avid composer, having done movie soundtracks for several short films, including this one. You know, just writing music in general is really, really pretty liberating, and it's kind of just taking a feeling that you have and, you know, putting it in a way that somebody else will be able to feel that same feeling, um, and that that's something that music can do. And they don't just play the music. They actually create it on several levels. They've become proficient at mixing their own creations. Sounds good. Hate it. They use music software to tweak every note so they can achieve the exact sound they're looking for. What I really want for music is to have uh, our, our arrangements of things out there for people to have because I think that we bring something special to the table because John and I, we work so well together. When we're composing or arranging a piece, um, we're able to master both the violin and the, com and the piano sides and merge them together uh, in a way that I think is very unique. And now, the culmination of about 20 years of playing is coming to its fruition. The Chan brothers are releasing their first CD of their own arrangements. Everything from classical to sacred to patriotic. Not bad for two boys who just wanted to play Nintendo. Wow, it's amazing what a Nintendo game system can do, isn't it? You know, and joining us now, of course, the brothers Ben and Jonathan Chan. Welcome, you guys. Impressive sounds, and I know we're going to hear you a little bit later. We're so thrilled to have you in the studio all month. Of course, we're talking about big dreams, and you guys are on that road. Oh, uh, we definitely have big dreams. Um, I guess we live in a, a great time in history that there's technology and and a lot of uh, things that can help us be able to achieve our dreams as well. And so, you know, even two brothers are able to hopefully reach millions of people on a national, international level with, with this music, which is, you know, the universal language. And that's your goal, right? That's to reach millions of ears and to reach millions of people, and you're well on your way. Now, you guys have sort of a unique arrangement here, the two of you. Ben, how is what you do different from what other piano, violin people, arranger, composers might I'm do? I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> Actually, uh, we're classically trained. And we also played in, uh, in church, you know, those kinds of things. But I think where the real power lies is when we put the classical and the religious genres together. And, um, you know, John being the master pianist and me playing the violin, we're able to write our own parts, kind of what we, what we talked about in the little clip earlier. Um, we're able to write for our own instruments and then merge the two together. But we also think alike. Now, I always come in a different perspective than what he comes from, but we always end up at the same point and are able to agree somehow. Being brothers, it's possible to do. Kind of bonding those brains for yeah. the common good. You live in Orem now with pretty extensive roots. 
Yeah, we actually are from New York. We grew up most of our lives in uh, upstate New York, and uh, our parents are both from Hong Kong, and so we have, you know, we have quite a bit of range of our family. You don't speak a lick of Cantonese, there. though, so sorry. <laughs> so we won't ask you. <laughs> no, nope, please no. don't. Okay, <laughs> we'll how young were you when you started to play? Um, I was five years old when I started taking piano lessons. Five as well. So the real question, how old were you when you discovered you loved music? <laughs> That's actually a very interesting question. We, uh, you know, we, we had different ways. Obviously, we, we had the Nintendo thing that we're able to you know, that we, our parents helped us want to That's practice. good incentive for a little kid. Very yeah. good incentive. Um, I think by the time, well, Ben has always been a better practicer than I have been, but I think by the time that you're 11 or 12, if you've, ha you know, been practicing and been forced by your parents to practice, that by that time, and you start really enjoying it, you know, you realize that you can start playing stuff that, you know, you see in movies or, or playing stuff that you really want to play. And it's encouraging the parents too just to, for us to be at this level that if the parents will continue to work with them even if they're resisting or whatever it, 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 it's uh, worth it I guess. Yeah, and now so. for to say you love to practice, you love to play and you're devoting quite a bit to this career that you're setting out on. What is it about music that really moves you and motivates you? Uh, it's a universal language. It, it, you can communicate to anybody. I've been over to Europe five times now and uh, a lot of different languages but whenever I get my violin out it's like we suddenly connect mm -hmm. and um, I think that's it's, it's great. Really, it's great. And the entire CD, I've listened to it many, many times over Thank and over. You. The brand new CD, of course, is called Quiet Inspirations. There's the cover right there. We want to let some of you enjoy the music of the Chan Brothers. And we've got a copy of the CD for the first five viewers who give us a call. If you're interested in knowing more about the Chan Brothers or finding out where you can buy your, your own CD, if, you don't, if you're not one of our winners today, you can visit our website, studio5.ksl.com. And we're going to give you guys a couple minutes to get warmed up and ready, okay? Thanks. Then Appreciate the moment that. we've been waiting for, they'll be back to play for us live right here in the studio. One of their own arrangements coming up on Studio 5. And now playing one of their original arrangements, we leave you today with the Chan Brothers. Fabulous job, wow.
did what a wonderful a job. Studio. Yeah, isn't that great? The website, once again, of course, for the Chan Brothers, chamberhymns.com, and more information on our website, which is studio5.ksl.com. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you. The Studio 5 set has been provided in part by Eastridge Cabinetry, Klein's Custom Countertops, Dan's Maytag, Bosch Kitchen Appliances, and Modern Materials. Portions of this program are sponsored. This is a production of KSL 5 Television. Time and Temperature brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen, 1-800-